We physicists theorize, how advanced do you have to be to access the Planck energy? Well, we rank them. The Kardashev scale says that there could be type 1, type 2, or type 3 civilizations. A type 1 civilization is maybe 100 years more advanced than us to maybe 1,000 years, sort of like Buck Rogers or Flash Gordon. Mm. They control the weather. Volcanoes, earthquakes, anything planetary, they control. That's type 1. Then there's type 2. Type 2 is stellar. They harness the power of an entire star, like Star Trek. Star Trek would be a typical type 2 civilization where they manipulate entire stars. Then there's type 3. Type 3 is galactic. They roam the galactic space lanes. They play with black holes like, like uh, the Empire of uh, the Star Wars series would be a typical type 3 civilization. Then the next question is, what type do you have to be to harness the Planck energy? The energy at which space and time become unstable, where wormholes may develop, gateways through space and time, portals through empty space. You have to be type 2 or most likely type 3. Then the next question is, how long will it take before you become type 3? Well, we are maybe 100 years away from being type 1. We're maybe a few thousand years from being from type 2. And we're maybe 100,000 years being from being type 3. Mm. And 100,000 years is nothing, nothing on a galactic scale. The age of the universe is, as I said, over 13 billion years old. And so once a civilization reaches the Planck energy, that is a type 3 civilization, space and time become your playground.